Good morning, students, and welcome back from spring break. I hope you had a great break. I know I did. We were able to go camping in our driveway, run a 5K in our backyard, and roast marshmallows in our garden fire pit. We played some fun games and watched some good movies. I hope you had a good time, too. I thought it was really interesting that last night as I was talking to my kids and some of their cousins, that they were saying how much they wish that they could come back to school. They told me they never thought that they would say that before the outbreak of COVID-19. We miss you here at school, and we miss your smiling faces. I wanted to make sure that you knew three expectations we have for you as you attend school online, as well as a tip that will help you make your experience even better. When you're using Zoom for a video conference or to learn from your teacher, it is best if you can to be in a place where you're sitting up, able to listen and pay attention. If I'm sitting like this, looking at the ceiling, do you think it's easy for me to learn? Probably not. What do you think if I'm twirling in a chair? Is that easy? What if I'm laying in bed with my blankets over my face. Can I learn like that? No, I can't do those things. So make sure that you're sitting up and just like pretend you were at class. Just sit up, pay attention, look at the screen. You're going to learn more that way. Number two, if you can, try and make sure that what is behind you isn't distracting. So if I had a bunch of friends that were saying hello behind me, do you think that would be distracting to other people? Probably. What if I was in Batman's cave? Yeah, probably would be distracting. What if I was at the circus? Do you think it would be good for me to show my background if I'm somewhere that's distracting like that? Probably not. What if I'm at a house where there's a bunch of kids and my mom babysits kids? Is that something that I should be showing everyone else? Probably not. Make sure that you're somewhere that isn't distracting. Number three, if you're in class and you were talking out or not raising your hand, your teacher would have to talk to you and make sure that you're not distracting others. Just like, when, just like when you're in class, we need to make sure that we're not distracting others by what we show on our screen. We shouldn't be pulling faces or putting our pets in front of the camera or trying to get others to pay attention to us instead of our teacher. If this happens, your teacher or aide will have to turn your video off. So what should you do if you're in a place that may be distracting to others? Or what if you accidentally woke up late and your hair isn't done? You don't wanna be seen in video. Or what if you wake up and you have a great big sore on your nose that you don't want others to see, but you still want to listen to class? There's a little button on your screen that you can just stop your video and then they don't see you anymore, which isn't a bad thing if you have a sore on your nose. Finally, remember that you need to do your best each day to continue to learn. What you learned today and while you were, we were doing online school will help you be prepared when we are coming back to school. So, right, so remember the three things today. One, sit up. Two, make sure that your background isn't distracting. And three, don't distract others with your video. Thanks for paying attention to this and I hope you have a great week.